G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio. No, actually, welcome to Factorio with me, Jenny. Yes, it's a brand new series. It's a brand new series. It's called Rocket Rush. If you didn't get that from the title of the uh, uh, title of the video, you've now got it on the background screen of Factorio. Yes, it's my custom background screen for Factorio, made up specially for this series, because we're going to be rushing a rocket. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, I am going to say a couple of things up front. Um, we're not rushing a rocket speedrunner style. We're actually rushing a rocket. JD style. Um, it's going to be a proper base. I want to get a proper base up and running, preferably in two to three weeks. Uh, really blitzing through the whole game as quickly as possible to get a real rocket up and running. Now, that's a real base with a real rocket because a speedrunner base will make a rocket. And then if you want a second rocket, you're going to be waiting a very, very long time. Uh, I want to have a proper functional base that once it launches launches one rocket, it can launch a second and a third and so on and so forth, along with doing all the things that we want for a mega base, like making modules and everything, because the Rocket Rush series that you're watching right now, after about, I'm hoping three weeks, maybe two, um, we're, is going to be moving across to a series. It's still got a working title of the subscriber special, but... If you haven't realized and you didn't catch the channel update video, the channel recently hit 5,000 subscribers. I know for a channel like this, I have a lot of people tell me that they're actually shocked that the channel only has 5,000 subscribers. It's true. There's only 5,000 of you guys that actually clicked that button. Mainly, I think, because I don't beg you like every other YouTuber to click the subscribe button every single video. So I'm going to take a moment to not beg you, but I'm going to remind you that during this time where I'm quiet... Maybe you should scroll down a little bit and click that red subscribe button. At the same time, being a new series, I will ask that you click the like button as well. At the same time, just jump in the comment section. Just tell me how much you love the series or how you really, really want to be featured in the subscriber special that starts after this one. Because the channel just hit 5,000 subscribers, I actually am going to be doing something special for every single subscriber. So every single subscriber where I can grab your name will be represented in the new series that starts after this one. Like I said, it's called the Subscriber Special. That's currently the working title. If you've got a better idea for that that series, please, down the, down the comment section, give it to me. Give it to me because I have got nothing. Um, I've done a lot of the background work. I've got a lot of the code done. Um, gathered a lot of data to get everybody's names and I'm still keeping track of any new names coming in. But yeah, I, I don't have a better title for the moment. Um, in saying that, I guess we should get on with this series. So straight into free play. I do have import map string. This is the map string we're playing on. And I need to explain a couple of things. So as you can see, it's large iron, large copper, large stone, coal, uranium, crude oil, everything. Because Rocket Rush is going to be a fairly quick series. We're just going to bounce through things very, very quickly. After that, we go on to the subscriber special. I'm actually taking this base, this save, and moving it straight across to a new series. It does mean that that's going to be a mega base. It is going to be the biggest base I have ever built. So I have maxed out everything, and I'm hoping it's enough. I honestly don't know. Um, I have built a 5,000 science packs per minute base all the way back in version... 15, I think it was like the first ever Factorio series I did on the channel. Um, I'll actually link it up in the top right hand corner. I'll link to the playlist actually for that one, the top right hand corner, if you want to go back and binge watch that one. So I I, I figure if I've already done 5,000 size packs per minute, I need to go bigger. I need to go way bigger. Um, and that's the plan to go really, really, really large with the next one. Um, what other bases have I done that's big? I did that one. I did a 15 rocket per minute base. Again, I'll link that one up right about now on the top right hand corner so like i've built big bases i've built 5000 science 5000 science packs per minute i've built 15 rockets per minute we need to do something like bigger than anything we've ever done before and that is going to be the plan for the new series going to be i don't know but well i do know but i'm not telling you guys you guys are going to click that subscribe button click the like button and then wait to find out when the new series starts anyway so Lots and lots of resources. Onto the terrain. We've got trees I've left alone, cliffs I've turned off, because let's be honest, nobody wants to deal with cliffs when you're out in the wilderness trying to outpost. Um, as for water and trees, I uh, don't no, water, I've set the coverage really low, but the scale really high. So when we hit a lake, 
it's going to be a lake. It's it's going to be more like hitting a sea. Um, so, you know, it gives us something to work around. Enemy-wise, I figure word has probably got around after the Bite of Hell series, and the Biters have learnt to back the hell off until they can evolve up where they can actually be a challenge. So we've set the size very, very low and the frequency very, very low because it's just outside the preview window, actually, but you, you'll see it when I load up the preview window. Um, just outside that, it's like almost a solid wall of red. They get... After you get like three, four thousand tiles away from spawn, which we're going to get to in this series, the bases, even if you set them at low numbers like I have, they get very, very large and they sort of get one on top of one another. And it's a little bit frustrating when we're doing, trying to do pretty much the opposite this time around. Uh, under the advanced tab, the only thing I've got is research queue always uh, available. If we hit the preview and this is going to be our starting area, which should be fine. And you can see there's just little biter bases out around the outside if they're over here let's say it's pretty fairly red so the plan is to try and avoid the biters but i don't want anything free so i didn't want to turn them off but i didn't want to have to put up with them too much it's one of the reasons i've also turned off expansion so they can't expand in whilst we're trying to expand out so that's pretty much it where it comes to the series uh, the, the map settings uh there will be a link to in the description for the map exchange string if you just want the map exchange string you want to play on this particular map you want to play along at the same time there also be a save uh for right at the start of episode one so pretty much right now there will be a save that you can go and grab that hang on i just want to get this up and running uh, put you there, put you there. Okay, that's that up and running. Uh, so there will be a map, uh, a map save if you wish to play along, um, with me. So, uh, what else? Yeah, map save, and it's, it's like now. It's like as soon as this map loaded, I did it previously before starting the recording. Um, there is a map save that you can grab. Uh, lastly, there is... There's three things in the description. Oh, there's the mod list. So if you want to grab the mods rather than, I, look, I recommend just downloading the save and then clicking sync mods. Uh, it's just so much easier, but there is also a mod list down in the description. Uh, going through the mods that we have installed. So I have tiny armor, tiny armor in installed. Uh, let's just do that. Tiny armor is installed down here. It gives me a couple of, a couple of tiny fusion reactors, a couple of personal robots, a couple of batteries. It's really designed for you to get up and running very quickly and early in the game. The catch is the construction drones, as far as construction as as far as early robots are concerned, are actually way better. Look at how quickly they're ripping down that forest. They are way way. Oh, it would help if I did that. They're way better than what we have with. Um, They are way better than what we can get with the uh, the, the normal construction robots because the construction robots have no upgrades. They are pretty shit, to be honest. So, yeah, I've gone with the construction drones. I did want to have the tiny armor just so I had something in the way of armor. And on top of that, we can upgrade tiny armor a couple of times. So it basically fills the role that heavy armor would whilst also having some module slots to run robots later on. Uh, why? Oh, they went and built them over there. Good on you, robots. Uh, can I make more, please? Uh, I need to put coal down there. I need to put that there. I need to put that there. And coal in you three guys. Yeah, we need iron. We need iron, guys. Lots and lots of iron. So we cleared out that forest, pretty much. Uh, okay, they should clear out everything else. Grab that iron, grab that iron, make more burner minor drills. And I'm gonna have to get a coal loop running sooner rather than later. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, the construction drones to sort of speed up the early game. 
On top of that, we have uh, something new or different. Different, I think. Different is probably more accurate. Something different for me is I actually have a lot of blueprints. Now, anybody who's watching, been watching me for quite some time knows that normally when it comes to a new series or any sort of series, I don't really use blueprints. I don't carry my blueprints from one game to the next. I tend to go in new, go in naked, and then actually craft, well, actually like build everything new and fresh for the for the however many time however many maps i've been through i don't know it's 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 a big number now uh that finishes iron okay um i, yeah, I tend to make everything new for the 50th time um, main reason i do that is each time i do it things tend to improve things tend to get a little bit better a little bit a little bit a little bit more efficient, that sort of stuff. Uh, this time around, I'm actually going to do something different. I'm, I have a whole bunch of blueprints to get us through this series. Uh, they're not... They're by no means comprehensive. Uh, nope, I want there. Uh, that should be enough to get us started. With coal income, give you wood, pull out the wood. Uh, more iron plates, more iron plates. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on my stone, or my stone furnaces, not my stone. Um, because I can't run out of stone, because that'll stall me. Uh, that's probably enough. I want two of those. So, um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of blueprints to get us through the game. Now, it's not a whole base. It's not a whole base, it's just sections. So it's like red and green science, it's, it's blue science, it's... It's a little bit, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. It's, it's enough to to get us up, and whoa, that had nowhere near enough coal in it. Um, it's enough to get us up and rolling, and into into a base, and hopefully into an actual rocket. Did I? The chests have not been crafted. Fine. Can we craft the chest right now, please? And then copy that and duplicate that there with another one, a couple of those with... Looks like we're dumping the rest of the forest into you guys. And we're off and running again. Okay. Uh, yeah. You've burnt through all the wood I gave you. Uh, uh, copy that. Paste that there. That's it. I'm out of. I'm out of wood. I'm out of furnaces. I'm in trouble. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's the plan for the series. Uh, well, no, the plan for the series is to use blueprints. Use blueprints to get us moving through quickly and efficiently from start to rocket. At the same time. Um, I will be making, and this is something I, I, I don't think I've ever done before, I will be making blueprints that I use available in that episode, and probably you'll find that the list of blueprints continues to get longer as the series continues. Uh, so... Uh, copper. I'm just trying to make sure I get all the bits and pieces I need. Wood. That's right, I went and ran out of wood. Okay, so can I grab that? Can I grab all the coal? Uh, you're still burning wood, you're burning wood as well. Okay, we're gonna empty up those. We're gonna throw coal in those, take the copper out of there. Yeah, we should have enough to Don't pick up the fish, please. Uh, trees and rocks only. Go, Compatrons! Okay. There's always one of you that gets stuck. Always. Alright, what were we doing? I was putting down... Five of them. Five of them. Uh, I obviously haven't crafted pipe yet. Uh, nor have I craft power poles, but I have craft boilers. That's not going to work, I've just realized. Put it there instead. Uh, I need the 
power poles. I need the underground pipe. I also need, I need to handcraft faster. Okay, that goes there. That goes there to there. Uh, no, I have already put down the pipe. I just need power poles. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking as fast as I can. Turns out I can't build quickly and efficiently and not have any coal on me at all to get this bootstrapped. Awesome. Uh, all right, so robots, run in here, grab as much as you can. Yeah, we might turn off your sound sooner or later. And we'll go back and grab some coal. We've got 72 power poles on the craft. Uh, they're done. That's done. Okay, grab the iron. Grab more iron. Grab everything out of there. Grab that. Dump coal in those, those, those. Copy that. Paste it back down. Uh, how many is it there? 14 and I had six so that's 11 12 13 really short on stone okay we're gonna go for a loop around everywhere pick up a little bit of everything uh, I think that's all I needed uh, nope, we want to go over to power first. Okay, so like I was saying, um, yeah, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have blueprints. Now, I have no objections to blueprints. I actually use the copy and paste function an awful lot in every single series I've ever done. But I like the challenge. Yeah, I like the challenge of having to build everything new and also means generally my builds improve. My builds improve series to series to series. Um, this sort of came around because last series I had a workshop um, blueprint, which I actually imported, which is, like I said, it was really was a first for me. Uh, turns out we don't need that, but thanks anyway. Uh, turns out I do need to actually put down the pump, which would help. Uh, so whilst we do that, we'll craft five, 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 uh, five, five, and one. Grab as much iron as possible. Then we're going to craft 10, 20, 30, 5, 10, something like that. We're going to copy, paste that there. We'll put down the damn pump bots. You guys suck. Uh, okay, so that'll get us power up and running well and truly. Uh, I can craft inserters. Uh, I can craft lots of things. So, let me think. Uh, I'm failing at thinking as far as this episode goes. Alright. I'm going to grab all the iron. I'm actually going to get rid of you. Because you're definitely in our way. Uh... We can grab all of that. Do I need stone? I don't need stone, so let's not go grab stone. I do need... Please tell me you guys put down the underground pipes. You did. Okay. Uh, look, I can keep planning, I think, whilst we stand around handcraft. So, I want assembler, assembler... No, 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 no. Assembler, assembler, assembler. Uh, lab. That's what we want. Um, and then from there, we're going to go in, in, uh, in, in, wooden box there. Whoops, there, there, there. In, 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 in. Uh, something like that. Yep, that's enough to get started. Power poles, we can power the whole thing up in advance. Uh, doesn't matter where I throw the power poles because it's all temporary still at this stage. Uh, we got 10 science packs, but I craft the lab after the science packs. That's a rookie mistake. 
Uh, what else? Uh, I guess I just start handcrafting assemblers, like, en masse. I need a heap of them. Okay, research. We need automation. After I have automation, I need logistics for underground belts. Then we're going to go electronics with fast inserters. We're also going to want steel. Uh, green science. That's pretty much where I'm going. Uh, yes, okay. That's enough to get us started. Uh, inserter wise, uh, well, we need this done first before I do anything else. Uh, all right, how many inserters do I have handcrafting? Uh, 5, 10, 15. That's 16. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we can do... No, I still can't do assemblers. Not till this research is done. All right. So now we've got a pause and I can try and think for a second. So series-wise, series-wise, we're going to use blueprints. We're going to try and rush through using blueprints. At the same time, like I said, I do want some sort of bus. I want some sort of organization, organizational method that will let us expand the base. Um, because this is going to go from this series into like a mega base series, I want to make sure that I'm pretty careful with how I do my bus and I want to make sure there is plenty of room for expansion because we're going to be expanding an awful lot um yeah I know you guys are running out of uh wood which means you guys are halfway through your wood yep all right if I can get these lamps down please don't have a rounding error now Preemptively craft one. Hey! Cool. Alright, automation. Uh, so I don't need that anymore. I do need assembly machines. One, two, three, four. Uh, yep, we can cancel that and cancel that. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, okay, you're going to have iron. You No, no, no. You're going to have iron. You're going to make a, a crap ton of gears. You're going to make red science. You're going to have copper. Thank you. More copper. More, more copper. Uh, on top of that, we're going to want assembly machines. We're going to want a whole heap of assembly machines. Uh, refill all you guys with coal. Uh is what I'm short on now. Uh, okay. Uh, simple automation. So I'm going to want, for me personally, I'm going to want gears. Gears are very, very important. And we're going to hook these straight up to the smelter. So the idea is we have very, very simple automation that just gets us up and running. Next thing we're going to want is gears again, but this time we're going to want gears for belts. Same story, you're going to hook this up to two smelters, hook this up to two smelters, have you output, because belts actually output two crafts, and we have super, super, super slow inserters, we're going to put down uh, two inserters and have this one pick up from the ground and pop into that box. Next thing we're going to want is... Uh, actually, next thing we're going to want is going to be green circuits. So, to do that, we're going to want you to make copper cable, you to make copper cable, you to have two inserters, you to have two inserters, have you guys output to a belt. I don't have belt yet, but we can just grab some belt, have all this come this way, and then wrap it around into this machine. Uh... Have you output? Uh, same story. You're going to make green circuits. I need more inserters because it doesn't matter how many you've got. You always need more. Uh, oh, you need power as well. Uh, gears. Gears are at least automated. So I can start picking up gears. This will automate green circuits. Uh, okay. Next thing I'm going to want is actually... More belts. You can never have... Oops. Uh, i got to make sure that they 
cover two furnaces because the furnaces are really slow. Uh, and also that instead of in there is really important. Uh, grab that again. Uh, we've got some belts, so I can pick up the belts and get start getting these guys running. Uh, nope, nope, we still need a few belts. Grab a few more belts. Alright, next thing I actually want is pretty much one of these again, except I want you to craft... Uh, craft iron sticks. And iron sticks, you might say, is a pretty weird recipe to be automating this early on there is a method to my madness because again with the list of mods we have installed hang on i need two of those still because uh, that keeps science moving because this has packs that it can't do anything with uh what else do we need uh, oh that's the other thing we need we need another machine here for argument's sake doing uh, output, input, chest, uh, have some wood. You're going to be doing, nope, power poles, en masse. I need a heap of power poles. Uh, okay, so we're going to grab that copper, we're going to grab that, we're going to grab that, we're going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a mining depot. So one of the things uh, different about this playthrough is... I have installed the Mining Drones mod. Now, the Mining Drones mod is... It's a pretty interesting little mod. It puts down, basically, little automated engineers that'll come out and mine the patches of ore for you. Couple of advantages it has is, one, it looks cool. Two, it has a very, very large area it affects. Three, it means I don't actually have to filter any um, of the ores. I can just tell it to mine only coal, and it's only going to mine coal. And we'll just send these little guys off running. They'll just mine nothing but coal. Uh, I need to get a loader. So a loader, again, is another mod we're using. It's basically like an inserter that doesn't need power, so it operates a bit more like a belt than an inserter does but just fills the belt as fast and so to possibly could. So, uh, yeah, really, really handy to just, just mow through um, all the possible resources. Well, really, really handy to um, output onto a belt. Uh, and I wouldn't call them UP more UPS efficient. They're probably less UPS efficient considering how many optimizations uh, inserters have had. But they're definitely easy. They're definitely easy. They're definitely fast. And potentially, um, this guy can output 15 items per second. So I can have one of these little loaders running compared to had I used inserters. I'd probably need five or six of them. Uh, and the reason we automated sticks is because these guys need sticks. And you'll find a lot of these smelters don't actually have any iron in them anymore because it's all being, it's all going straight to these processes. Um, so these will use all the iron that is available and you won't have a lot left over. Uh, but we have automated a lot of the process. We've got our little, our little mining dudes, like little mini me's, little mini me's coming out and doing a lot of the mining for us. Now I can't drop these guys on the ground anywhere. They physically have to, just helping you out, just just for a sec. Um, they physically have to be thrown uh, thrown into the mining depot, at which point they'll run off and go do as they've been told. Now I can put, at the moment I've got 10 or 10 in there, I can actually put a, a hundred per single mining depot, and they are very, very, very effective at, at getting mining done. Uh, research wise, what's holding us up? Nothing, we're just doing like, five second research that's what's holding us up we're doing a really quick research still so i think we've got a sort of basic up and running um we'll just handcraft these for a single second so i can make sure i've definitely for the 18th time definitely covered all the things i wanted to say so new series whilst i talk whilst nothing's really happening on the screen click the like button click the subscribe button if you haven't already 
because this series will be leaning into the subscriber special series, which will be the very, very next series we'll be doing. Uh, we are have a couple little helper mods to get us up and running fast. We want to have a complete base as quickly as possible. Normally it would take, well, this would have probably taken maybe 40 minutes to set up. Um, normally, the fact that I've had the, the construction bots being able to run out and uh, run out and pick up all the trees and all the rocks on mass has really sped things up. On top of that, um, same with these little mining drones. The mining drones are like iron, iron, and gears. Fairly easy to craft compared to a mining drill. A little bit harder to craft because of the green circuits. Um, so yeah, a little bit easier for, to craft these guys. They're not quite as efficient or as fast, but also they don't need power because they run on their own two legs. Um, quick series. Trying to go through the base game. It's going to be mostly vanilla. I do have lots of mods installed, um, but it's going to be mainly vanilla. We are making, holy crap, we're making 200 iron plate per minute. Um, we have stuff like this, the production monitor, monitor mod. So you can see like, here we are... Uh, how far into the game are we? 25 minutes? Not even 25 minutes. And we're already doing 200 iron per second, 85 copper per second, 59 gears per second, and 22 uh, electric circuits per second. Um, so we are really flying through the early game. Um, if I make another depot, we can start doing iron in the next episode. Um, we've already got steel research. We're getting a logistics uh, science pack next. At which point, I don't know, I'll have to rush through the rest of Red's research because we don't have any smelter blocks set up. Again, probably in the next episode. Uh, what else do I have to cover? Uh, this series will be leading on to the new series. New series is going to be celebrating the subscribers. So every single one of you guys that has clicked the subscribe button, the subscribe button, we will be celebrating you guys. So what does that mean it means if you want to have your name in the series it's as quick as clicking the subscribe button it's not hard it's really really not that hard um on top of that this will be a daily factorio series same as my previous one was and i will probably be putting a weekly recap episode in as well i'm not entirely sure on that that was the plan um i think it's still the plan to put in a weekly recap episode but we'll see. Um, that's sort of where I land on the whole weekly recap episode so far. Anyway, with that said, that's me out. Thank you guys so much for watching episode one. I do hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you clicked both the subscribe button and the like button. At the same time, went down the comment section and give me a really good name for the subscriber special series name words. Yeah, because I don't have a good name. Um, like I said, working title is still, is still subscriber special and that's pretty much where we're going to leave it. Um, oh, on top of that, actually I should mention that. So, it's going to be celebrating subscribers, but at the same time, it's also going to be ce celebrating um, the contributors. So, they're the people that go above and beyond and support the channel in other ways. So, every single Patreon member, every single Twitch subscriber, you guys will actually have a special honorable mention. Um, no, honorable mention is the wrong word. Um, a special commendation. That's probably even, that's probably the better way of putting it. So they'll all have a special commendation in the new series. Um, again, if you want to be, if you want to support the channel, I think that's probably where I should leave it. If you, if you want to support the channel, um, Patreon's a great way to do it. On top of that, you'll get access to these episodes early. Um, actually, you get ac access to the whole every episode early um from a couple of days to a week depending on my recording schedule um and sheer luck and all that sort of stuff on top of that uh you get access ad free and you get to chat with me in the supporters lounge on discord you know we've got comfy seats um in, on, only in the supporters lounge like everywhere else you just get the crappy crappy plastic chairs metal legs you know they hurt your bum after 20 minutes Supporters Lounge, we've got proper lounges. Uh, yeah, and again, choices for support. Patreon's a great one. Um, Twitch subscription is another good one, especially if you're already paying for Twitch Prime. You actually get a free subscription once a month. Well, a free Prime subscription once a month that you can spend on any content creator you like on Twitch. I'd love it if you spend it on me. You know, um, I don't have a video that I can link you to, but definitely you can Google up how to Twitch, how to link your Twitch account to your Amazon account. And then with a couple of clicks of a button, you can support the channel, support me, 
hopefully you enjoy what I do. Um, at the same time, links to my Twitch channel are down in the description. I think I've rambled for long enough. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. All right, bye.